Can parents of school shooters be held responsible for their child's crimes? That's what a jury will decide in the first of its kind trial in the U.S. For the first time in U.S. history, a mother will stand trial charged in a school shooting that her son committed. Jennifer Crumbly was charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter and faces up to 15 years in prison. Her son, Ethan, shot and killed four students and injured seven others at Oxford High School in Michigan in 2021. Ethan was 15 at the time. Just days after the shooting, Ethan's parents were charged. The parents are not accused of knowing their child was going to shoot up a school, but rather the prosecution is arguing the parents made a gun accessible to Ethan and ignored mental health needs. On the day of the school shooting, Ethan's parents sat with counselors to discuss graphic and violent drawings and messages. One read, the thoughts won't stop, help me. The parents declined to take their son home from school. Hours later, students died. A criminal procedure professor commented on the case, quote, I think prosecutors are feeling pressure when these weapon-related offenses occur. People are outraged, and they're looking for someone to take responsibility for it. While the Crumbleys are the first to be charged in connection to a mass shooting their child has been found guilty of, a mother in Virginia was sentenced last month to two years in prison for child neglect after her six-year-old son brought a gun to school and shot his teacher. Jury selection begun this week in Jennifer Crumbley's trial. The father, James Crumbley, will face a separate trial in March. Ethan was sentenced last month to life in prison.